Hey guys, it's Cheryl and welcome back to my channel. So during this quarantine, I have been really bored and I was thinking of what I can do. So a lot of you actually wanted a Q&A video where I answer your questions since, you know, this is something that you can re-watch and be like, oh yeah, she answered that. Instead of just going on Instagram live and answering it again and again, I went on Instagram and I did this story thing and I asked you guys what questions would you want to ask me and just put it inside the box so a lot of you actually asked me quite a lot of questions and i'll be picking out the most interesting ones to answer for you guys today yeah so the first question is why did you go to australia a lot of you don't know this but i actually moved to australia about a month and a half ago to start studying and the saddest part of this whole thing is that when i moved here i had like two weeks to settle down and move in i didn't even get to fully explore Melbourne as a whole yet and like boom the lockdown happened so yeah once I got here my first semester is online it's pretty sad <laughs> but I guess I have to deal with it because like I'm not the only one so basically the answer is I came to Australia especially Melbourne I'm in Melbourne by the way so I'm here to study how did you start YouTube YouTube has always been something which I use as a platform to express my feelings. I started YouTube when I was 12, I think, and that was a point of my time in my life where I felt like I couldn't talk to many people and I didn't have many friends. I use YouTube as a platform to express my art in whatever form it may be. If you guys really scroll down to my previous videos, you would see that I have a lot of really cringy stuff. I grew up watching Xian Hao, uh, Dikosh, uh, Ryan Higa, PewDiePie, yeah. So they were my inspirations. And also I liked beauty videos. So I really liked exploring makeup when I was younger. So I used to have this mindset that I would be a great beauty YouTuber. But you know, seven years later and here I am. How is quarantine treating you? To be very honest, right, I, I'm not gonna lie, it's taking a lot on my mental health because I have never really been alone my whole life. My whole life, I have always been with my parents, in my, in my home country, you know, wherever I felt like I needed to run back home, I could always go back home without hesitation. I would just take a grab home or like take the train home or whatever it may be, I will just be home and I'll be with my family, I will not be alone. Moving across the country and being isolated, waking up every day to the same four walls, I mean, not that I'm complaining, I mean, life is great, I love my place, I'm very blessed to have whatever I have today, but it does take a toll on my mental health where I question a lot of things at night and when I was back in KL, I was really working on a lot of things in my personal and emotional life. I was going through some things mentally and emotionally as well, but when I moved here, I was so happy to have this fresh start and start off fresh, you know, go to school, meet new people, like, you know, be able to really survive independently on my own. Things took a toll because of this whole COVID-19 thing and I wouldn't blame it. There are people out there suffering much more. I don't know if you notice, I don't really upload much on Instagram. I just do TikToks when I'm bored. You know, people only see the good side of your life. Nobody really sees how you really feel and that's when I go to bed at night and that's how I truly feel I guess but other than that I think quarantine so far I'm not gonna lie like I said it's taking a toll on my mental health but physically I'm exercising to the very least so maybe it's like a balance the weight that I'm supposed to gain I'm losing it so I'm just maintaining I want to strive for more so I'm trying to be more productive as well so let's see how this goes stay safe everyone describe three feelings that you are going through this confinement period to be honest a lot of loneliness I am a extrovert I like to meet new people I like to talk to people I like to meet up with friends go for lunch with friends talk 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 for like three hours making me a very paranoid person another good thing though I'm not gonna look at all the negatives I'm gonna give two positive things that I feel slightly productive slightly achieving as well I've learned to bake and to cook which I have never really learned before and I've also learned to clean the house wash my own clothes yeah I'm pretty proud of that next question do you have a favorite k-drama <sighs> You are asking a specialist here, girl. Okay, I'm also a fan of Chinese, Taiwanese dramas. So recently, I started watching one called Well Intended Love and I finished it in two days. Two seasons in two days. So I did not sleep. I just binged the whole thing, okay? And Well Intended Love is a 10 out of 10. Uh, Crash Landing on You would be a 9.5 out of 10. But my favorite, like ultimate, all-time favorite 
it will be between what's wrong with secretary kim and uncontrollably fawn yeah because uncontrollably fawn actually really hit me emotionally so yeah that's my suggestion or you guys can comment down below then i can like recommend you guys have you ever done something crazy to your hair? Yes, okay, this is not like crazy crazy but So this was when I remember I had hair extensions that looked similar to this as well That was my first time trying hair extensions and During that time, I had no knowledge about hair extensions I had no idea what it was So I went to do it at this place It's like a mini tape So they tape it there like that Mine now currently is micro beat So it's like much simpler It doesn't feel so fake, you know And I'm kind of used to this instead so what happened back then was i was in singapore and debbie vicky Sal, and one more person i think cindy four of them were trying to get the glue out of my hair like they were using a straightener to melt it it was so funny because it was like everyone trying to get the glues get out of my hair and it was basically you could hear the frying sound that was how intense it was but at the same time i've learned my lesson guys i did my research and everything like I know, I know now, okay? <laughs> Are you in a relationship? No, I am very much single and I would really want to continue being um, single to at least focus on myself until I meet someone who wants or would want to strive for the similar same type of future that I want as well. I was always a person who would jump into a relationship really quickly after like relationship after relationship I'm actually a person that always jumps here and there but after my previous breakup I realized that that's not what I want anymore and the partner that I want to be with is not who like it's not the type of person that I want to be anymore I kind of changed my perspective on love instead of finding love I let love find me that was also the thing that took a toll on me but I'm great guys, I'm fine now. Why are you studying in Melbourne and not elsewhere? I was actually hoping someone would ask me this. So I'm very happy you asked me this. The Rahul Chitra. I've always wanted to study in Melbourne ever since I was young. I remember talking to my auntie. My auntie works at the university that I study at. So I remember asking her, I want to study MassCom. Then she told me, oh, I'm actually working at this uni. You can actually do some research about it. So ever since that day, I went home and I researched about this uni that I'm studying at right now. Now, and that is when I decided to set a goal that I'm gonna graduate by this age so I'm actually living off the dream that my parents have been able to give me and I'm very grateful okay and the last question of all like 80% of these questions are the same question and I've answered this before but I'm gonna answer it again so this is why I saved it for the last because if you guys are watching then you would know why so did you leave Titan digital media I did not leave Titan I'm still a part of Titan they are still my second family and I am literally just here to study like when I was in KL it was much easier for me to go to Singapore than for me to go to Singapore from Melbourne so I did not leave Titan congratulations on 4 million subscribers yeah I did not leave so if that is what you wanted to know I did not leave I'm just studying right now <laughs> that comes to the end of my Q&A thank you guys for watching I just wanted to say stay safe during this season remember to wash your hands stay clean everything eat healthy and also focus on yourself first girls guys whoever and if you want you can like follow my tiktok i'm gonna start posting a lot more on youtube right now so i have a few videos lined up for you guys already but do comment down below what videos you would like to watch and what content you would like come i mean come for at me is that how you say it i don't know but thank you guys for watching remember to follow my social media and my Instagram, my TikTok, whatever. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!